The overwhelming majority of your actions in life will have no effect on your eternal condition. After all, does a grain of sand ever have any effect on a prodigious star? Of course it doesn't. The star cannot even discern the grain of sand, let alone is it affected by the sand's significance. The grain of sand is negligible, as is the condition of most of your life. The good deeds you perform, your philanthropy, your positive mindset, your hate, your murder, your lust, none of these things matter. None of these things determine whether you go to heaven or hell after you die. Heaven and hell do not exist as objective places. All that exists is what the individualized mind believes. Therefore, the conditions of heaven and hell are contingent upon the individual's particular notions. To be more specific, roughly 99.9 .9 of your life is immaterial, and this is the initial 99.9% .9 of your life. All that truly matters is that last 0.1%. This small fraction is paramount. All that matters is your state of mind in the precise moment before death brings down his heavy, rusty sight. Your state of mind in this fleeting, unexpected moment will remain this way forever. And at some point, in the inconceivable eternity following death, we'll forget about everything you're comparably diminutive in life. The final emotion is the only thing that remains, and it never dies. You exist only as the single distilled emotion, or a combination of emotions, detached from your body, forever. This truth is fortunate for the 0.1% of the human population, whose last 0.1% of life was pleasant.